Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Higa themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, because that's mostly what I do here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day if not twice. Whenever I announce giveaways, there is always a secret password giveaway going on. And of course, whenever I go live, as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today, I have a great little monthly beach box that has been sent to me for review. Now, I've opened this on the channel probably for a couple of years now as a subscriber. And then, like I said, she is sending it to me for review now. And I'm so thankful because it is such a lovely dose of beachy goodness every single month. It's $59.95 plus $9.95 in shipping, but of course I have a code for you. It is Maui Noel 10 and that will save you 10%. And of course I will leave that information for you in the description box below as well. I think it's really great how many beach boxes are out there and they're all just a little bit different. What I love about this one is that she works with a lot of other small businesses and it is monthly. It is very hard to come by a good monthly beach box these days. So let's go ahead and get into our our little periwinkle box of goodness. It is always packed to the brim. So inside, it's pretty simple at first. I just see a little heart sticker with a little wave design on it. But once we get into it and where that shred is, there's usually a little sweet treat as well as some decorations and some paperwork to tell us a little bit more about the box. So there it is. So we have our little note that says, Mermaid Noel, your life's a wave box full of ocean, beach, and eco fun has arrived. We're very grateful to have you as a mermaid sister on this exciting journey. Enjoy opening your box curated especially for you. Happy summer beautiful. Love love and mermaid smiles. Your mermaid sister. So I just love that she kind of annotates that with a, a little handwritten note every month. It just makes it more special. And then we do have the card that tells us about the products. So the theme for this month is summer barbecue beach box. So it's always something beach box. That's always the theme. And then she does put in bold the Instagram handles of the businesses that are featured so if you ever want to find them you definitely can find more of their products sometimes they include some promo codes which is always nice as well I don't always get a chance to photograph this box anymore in fact I'm a little bit behind these days so I usually try to post the video on the same day as my first Instagram post but right now there's about a week or two week delay even because I have been lucky enough to be traveling a little bit but just so you know whenever I can if I do post I will try to tag those businesses as well so I'll prop this up in front of me. And then we also have a little information in here about the Life's Away family. So if you're a new subscriber, you can find out a little bit more. And then they always donate part of the proceeds to an eco-minded organization. They kind of switch around between a handful of different ones. And this month it is the Turtle Conservancy, which is one that I always feel really good about. I love little Honu. That's the Hawaiian word for sea turtle. I saw a couple of them when I was home in Maui for just a few days and they just always make me smile. They just seem so so peaceful and graceful and I just feel like it's good luck to see them so that's a great uh, organization love that and then here is the mermaid love shells and yummy candy that she always includes this time very colorful very appropriate for summer so there's some little white sand dollars and then some dyed seashells and of course we have two bright like pinwheel lollipops that definitely screams summer to me so let me put that off to the side now this box would be so great if you are someone who is a crafter. Some of the bigger pieces like sea glass and when we get bigger white seashells, I do stack those in a nice hurricane glass to sort of uh, create a seascape in my very small home. I don't have a ton of room for a lot of beachy decor, but I try, I try. If you're a crafty person, this would be a really fun box because I'm sure some of you could make some beautiful picture frames or bulletin boards, or I don't know what else you could put a hot glue gun to those shells and fun things and create some gorgeous items. So let me just go ahead and make sure, I think I got most of the shred out of there. Sometimes some items kind of sneak in that little nest. It's always one of the messier boxes that I open, but still one of the more delightful ones. All right, I think I found a few of the items we can at least get started. So right on top, 
We have something from Sue Made That, which is, I think she has an Etsy shop, and she's got this kind of cool, like, tribal-looking owl, so that's the little card that it came on, and indeed, on the other side, there is a QR code so that you can find her shop, as well as a discount code, so one of the perks of being a subscriber, which is awesome. Let me know if you want that code. So this was actually one of the spoilers over on the Life's a Wave Instagram, and I have to say, I was a little bit nervous because sometimes, even though I love handmade items, they look a little bit handmade and I usually kind of like a very clean sort of like refined style in my home if that makes sense but these are actually very nice there's a little bit more of a gloss to the paint and I do actually think that the colors are really pretty so they're a little plant markers which I think is really sweet so it says how adorable are these handmade beachy plant decor markers that are going to look so beautiful in your veggie garden or in your planted herbs you use at your beach barbecues they were made by Sue made that and her handle is Sue made that too if you're looking for her so you can kind of see that nice ombre background the love that live in the mermaid life then we got one that says the ocean is calling good little reminder once you've uh, watered your plants for the day to maybe head to the beach and then a third one that says of course because these were custom made life's a wave now I'm not usually a fan of things that are branded with any box names on them just because I find that I don't use them that much but this kind of goes along with those other beachy sayings. Now you could always put on the back if you wanted to take a sharpie to it or even be creative and do your own painting. On the back you could actually put the name of the plant that you're marking. I have managed, it's amazing you guys because you know I don't have a green thumb, I've managed to keep some succulents, an aloe plant, a lavender plant, a few things in my kitchen window alive. So I might go ahead and stick these in there even though I don't necessarily need markers. I know what all the plants are but maybe it's a good reminder like I said to uh, get out there and go to the beach this summer. Right now I could definitely use some beach breeze it is very warm here in my office so like I said that was something that I was not like super thrilled about when I saw the spoiler but in person they're actually really lovely and I think they're very sweet very cute all right let me get some other stuff out of the way this is a little bit of the ocean literally so let me just brush this off it says the flavors of Ernest Hemingway which always makes me think uh, more of like Cuba and Key West of course and it is a nice jar for fluid ounces it says of sea salt so a nice glass jar so let me see if I can find this on here it says this gourmet sea salt from the flavors of Ernest Hemingway collection will be a great addition to any of your summertime dishes go check out all of their products at gourmet underscore warehouse underscore brands all right so love that kind of has like a uh, marlin I think there on the other side so pretty cool I'm into that kind of got some Carib vibes there all right oh this is heavy whatever this is and I think that I lost one of the little feet on mine so I'll have to dig through the shred and find that oh there it is I found it I found it good you have no idea what I'm talking about but you'll see in a second so we got this super cute starfish trivet I was wondering why the box was a little bit heavy so it's nice it's like I think it's like cast iron see there's these little feet on it which is great so it's not going to scratch up your surfaces if you have kind of a scratchy surface but I might have to put like a little dab of glue in there so that they don't come off but I do appreciate that we have those rubberized feet there so it says while giggling with your mermaid friends at your summer fun barbecue this iron starfish trivet will be perfect to display all your yummy food so this is a really cool piece I could totally see this in really anyone's home but definitely if you have that nice light airy bright kitchen island and you're putting out all of your potluck things um, this would be a really nice uh, pretty sophisticated looking but also beachy item to have in your kitchen this is the kind of thing that I love receiving and dreaming about that kitchen that I would love to have one day so that's a cool item so far probably my favorite I have to make sure that I do not not lose that little rubber foot it does not want to stay on there all right I think we have a couple more things one thing seems to be kind of hiding in the shred so let me go ahead and pull that out all right, this is a familiar brand and a familiar product. Let me kind of shake it up so you can see it a little bit better. This is the Dirty Lamb Chocolate Coconut Lip Scrub. So this comes in a nice little glass jar too. Mine kind of all went to one side away from the uh, front label there, but there's still plenty in there. It says, end your beach day with this sweet chocolate coconut lip rocks hydrating lip scrub to make your lips mermaid soft. So again, Dirty Lamb, which is a clean, I believe vegan and cruelty-free brand, which is awesome. 
So this just smells and actually tastes pretty darn good. I don't use a lot of lip scrubs. I found that I use them more if I just go ahead and put them in my shower next to everything else. And then I sometimes remember to use them more than if I have them in the bathroom cabinet, for example. So uh, delicious and a very nice smelling product that works great. And of course, you know, at the end of the day, your lips might be a little chapped and they might need a good, good scrub. And then I think we have one more item in here. This is very bright, whatever it is. So it's like fabric. So let me show you the fabric. We've got a yellow background with some shells and some red starfish. Hmm, what is this? I think it is an apron. All right, so this also has like definitely a, like a handmade quality to it. So it's just um, one-sided, the fabric, you can see. And then here is the neck. So, and it is adjustable. I love when they have an adjustable neck on an apron. That's awesome. And you're not gonna have like a long tie or have to tie it up exactly. You can really easily adjust it. And then of course we have the ties that go around your waist. So I usually like to kind of like um, blouse mine at the waist to adjust them, but I think that's awesome. And then you can always, if you want to, just kind of fold it over and do just more of a cafe style one. Now it doesn't have a front pocket. I do usually like when my aprons have a front pocket, but to be honest, you guys, I, I usually am wearing an apron more for style than I am for actually trying to keep myself clean. I don't do a lot of heavy cooking, but this would be super duper cute at your beach barbecue, right? So it says, we love supporting small mermaid owned businesses. These beachy aprons will look mermazing on our mermaids at their beach barbecues. Exactly. Handmade by the owner of TLC Patterns. I wonder if that's actually her initials too, because if they are, that is a pretty cool, uh, set of initials to have. So this is very sweet, definitely something that you could use for summer, great summery colors and pattern. So again, this is the summer barbecue beach box and I think she definitely stuck with the theme. We got this fun um, homemade or small business made apron. We got our starfish trivet, definitely my favorite item in the box. I kind of love the sort of uh, asymmetricalness of it. It's not like a perfect star, of course. We got the gourmet sea salt. So that's definitely nice. Always like to have something you can use uh, in terms of your cooking. And then of course we got our cute uh, plant signs. Those are adorable, although I'm not sure how to exactly incorporate them into my into my beach barbecue. You could actually probably mark food, you know, mark different salads or even cheeses maybe. You could write a cheese on the other side, maybe um, put some chalkboard paint on one side and then chalk what cheeses are in there. That'd be really cute on a little like beachy uh, charcuterie board. And then we also have this because it doesn't say anything necessarily that makes them plant specific. They're just nice little markers. And then finally, we have that nice chocolate uh, coconut lip scrub, which I've used before. I do like the product. It's pretty good. So and of course, all of our shells and our lollipops to enjoy as well. So let me know what you guys thought about this box. I believe she has a few of this beach barbecue, summer barbecue beach box still available. And of course, the July box is just a around the corner but if you want this one let her know she might still have some of these items available if not the entire box as always thank you so much for watching my video if you have a moment please do give it a thumbs up I'd love to hear from you in the comments and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing